So this is part two of looting and gear. In this video, I'll be going through weapons and their attachments and mods. If you missed part one where I explain the gear items and consumables, click the card there in the top right. So just like the gear items in Apex, the weapons, ammo, and their attachments are also color coded. I notice a lot of beginners get confused about ammo going with which weapons, so I made some charts and hopefully this is going to be easier to understand. There are different weapon classes and each has their own attributes and are color coded to certain ammo types. Let's start with the light weapons. These have orange bullets and normally a high rate of fire, low and medium damage, and low recoil. I would say these are the best all-rounders in the game. These are also the most common guns that you'll find. The R301, the G7 Scout, and the R99 are some of the best weapons from this class. You can pick these up at the beginning of the game and they will still perform good coming on to the end game. Then you face enemies that have higher level shields. Next up are the heavy weapons. These have dark green ammo, a low to medium rate of fire, medium to high damage, and medium to high recoil. So let your name suggest these are your heavy hitters. If you can control them, then you will absolutely shred uh, anyone that you come across. All of these guns are good for taking into the end game. Well, maybe not the prowler, but all the rest definitely will perform good in the end game. Energy weapons have yellow ammo, low to high fire rate, medium to high damage, and high recoil. Now, the reason the fire rate is low to high is because these weapons, they charge up. So the rate of fire starts off really low and then it, when they hit their max fire rate, it's super high. And these are great for breaking off shields. Shotguns have red ammo, low to medium fire rate, high damage, low to medium recoil, and they are the best at being inconsistent. And I'm not even kidding. There are times you'll down someone in one shot and the next time you'll hit someone point blank with a shotgun, you will literally see nine damage pop up. So I feel like every time I'm using one of these, it's kind of a gamble. You don't know if it's going to do well or not. So yeah, just be careful about that. But when they do work, they work really well. And lastly are the gold or special weapons. They don't have additional ammo because these drop from the care packages out of the sky. So make your shots count. These have a low fire rate, high damage and high recoil. So that's the breakdown of the weapons and their classes. So let's talk about the attachments starting with the weapon sights and scopes. So every type of weapon can only put up to a certain zoom or range scope on it. Pistols, SMGs, and shotguns can only use one to two times sights. ARs and LMGs can use up to four times sights. Snipers can use all the sights in the game. This is from one to 10. And as for the gold weapons, just like how you can't pick up ammo, you can't put any attachments on these either. So onto extended mags, they'd add more bullets to the weapons magazine and increase the reload speed. The better the color, the more bullets will be added and the faster your reload speed will be. After you equip them, you need to reload and then the extra bullets will be added to your magazine. Only heavy and light weapons have extended mags after the last patch they were removed from the energy weapons. So the mags go on specific weapon classes, so light mags only go on light weapons and the heavy mags only go to the heavy weapons. So these are barrel stabilizers and these reduce recoil and also muzzle flash, but that isn't listed because it isn't that noticeable unless you have on the gold barrel that completely minimizes the flash. Shotgun bolts increase the rate of fire on the shotguns, the semi-auto shoot faster, and in the case of the peacekeeper here, you load the lever faster after every round. And lastly, the weapon stocks. These reduce aim drift, this would be the left and right movement when you're shooting, but they also say it improves handling, and after testing, I'm pretty sure handling means a faster ADS, so I'll have to slow it down frame by frame so you can see the actual difference on when it centers and zoom, and the purple obviously being the faster and better stock for well, a faster ADS. Now onto weapon specific mods. Okay, before we get into that section, I had to come and re-record this part here because as of yesterday, they launched a season four, they changed around the loot. So some parts of this video is now irrelevant. So the turbocharger mod has now been taken out of the game. So you won't find that anywhere. That mod used to speed up the fire rate of some of the weapons in the game. Uh, that has been taken out. The gun I was showing in that section, the Devotion LMG, has now been moved to the care packages that fall out of the sky instead of being found around the map. And the L-Star, which was a care package weapon, is now taking its place and will use energy ammo. So those two guns kind of swap places. The last change is that there's a new weapon class. They took the snipers out of all the other classes and put them in a separate class. So snipers have their own extended mags now and other attachments and their ammo is now purple and it you know kind of has a target on it. So this is what sniper ammo looks like. And the G7 scout which was a sniper is now considered an assault rifle and can't use long range scopes anymore. So 
those are the new changes for season four but anything everything else that i recorded in this video which you're gonna see further on ahead is still the same and unchanged the select fire unlocks a second fire mode for the havoc and the prowler smg it makes the prowler that's originally a fire round burst into a full auto weapon and the havoc becomes a charged rifle that fires a long range beam it does have a damage fall off though and this uses four bullets per shot the precision choke reduces projectile spread. This concentrates all the bullets in the center, so it does more damage per shot. This goes on the Peacekeeper shotgun and the triple take sniper. You have to aim down sight and it'll charge up after 3 seconds and it'll show you in your scope the charge progress in 3 steps. On the Peacekeeper, after releasing ADS, you have 3 seconds before it goes back to the original size, but on a triple take, it turns off instantly. After every shot, it'll show a diagram of the bullets that hit your target. The anvil receiver increases semi-auto damage but reduces rate of fire and uses 2 ammo per shot. This goes on the R301 and the flatline assault rifles. So on the right it's 35 damage per shot and on the left it's only 14 per shot and I'm top firing as fast as I can so you can really see how much slower the rate of fire is between the two single shot modes. So this is only good at long ranged fights. The hammer point rounds increase unshielded damage, so basically more damage to straight health. This goes on the P2020 and the Mozambique. This is only good in the early game when everyone just dropped in and either has no shields or white shields. It's 34 damage per shot for the Mozambique and it's 35 for the P2020. And lastly is the double tap. This turns single fire weapons into two round bursts, but there's a half second delay after every burst, so make sure your shots hit. And this goes on the G7 Scout and the Evo 8 Shotgun. So yeah, that is the breakdown of all the weapons, attachments, and weapon mods in Apex for right now. So if you found this helpful, you leave a like and share it around and subscribe for more Apex content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.